I'm here at the Masonic Lodge in Paintsville where Sunday they're going to have a celebration for this very building that has stood here for 100 years. Lodge members, their families, and members of the public are invited to attend the centennial celebration at 2 o'clock on Sunday. On um, Thanksgiving Day, November 27th, 1924, uh, the cornerstone was laid here in a public ceremony for Paintsville Lodge 31 in the location it's at now. And we went through our archives, we found our minute books all the way back to the Civil War, uh, 1860 through 1865. We done a lot of history research and found out the exact date of the cornerstone. So we thought we would open our lodge up and celebrate the 100th anniversary of our facility that we're in now. The building that now houses the Paintsville Masonic Lodge number 381 had its groundbreaking in September of 1924. Well before that, the lodge itself was formed in 1860 with 24 inaugural members. Norton Eye Center in Pikeville, your local vision experts. Experienced doctors using state-of-the-art technology. Choose from top designer frames from Oakley, Ray-Ban, Nike, and more. We accept Medicaid and Medicare, plus most insurances are accepted. Norton Eye Center in Pikeville, next to Tractor Supply. Celebrate two centuries of Pikeville at the Pikeville 200 Gala. Saturday, December 21st at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. An unforgettable night of live music, delicious food, and elegant fun. Enjoy Grammy Award nominated Dave Atkins and Mountain Soul. Then jazz from the Pike Central Jazz Band. Finally, dance the night away with Julie Goff and the Swag Tones. For dinner, you'll have an elegant feast featuring carved prime rib with au jus, pan-seared king salmon, and decadent desserts. And enjoy a silent auction, door prizes, and a cash bar. Dress in your finest for this not-to-be-missed historic evening. The Pikeville 200 Gala, Saturday, December 21st at the Appalachian Wireless Arena. Tickets are on sale now online at the apparts.org website under the Events tab. It's Pikeville's biggest celebration yet. Be there. Over the years, the members of the Lodge and the families that support it have always been charity driven and community driven. A lot of lodges in this area popped up because of the population increase due to the mining, railroad industry, and of course coal. And as depopulations happen, we saw some townships, you know, lose members, uh, lose community members, not only that, lodge members as well. So we thought it would be something nice to remind us of our rich history. In the first year of the American Civil War, a band of soldiers under the command of future President James A. Garfield left camp one night and pillaged the town, including the lodge taking many of its Masonic jewels. Garfield, a mason himself, later discovered the theft and ordered the items returned where they are still showcased there today. We actually have found our 1860 jewels and the aprons that was used in 1924 for the original cornerstone. Now the 1860 jewels were kind of acquired by some uh, uh, soldiers that served under General James A. Garfield before the Battle of uh, Middle Creek. And at the Battle of Middle Creek, General Garfield discovered that someone had misappropriately taken the jewels from the lodge and he himself and his corps of officers that were masons traveled back and brought the jewels back to the lodge. And we have them, we'll have them on display with a printed history of, of, of what occurred at that time. Reporting from Mountain Top News, I'm Sheldon Compton.